Yo, to start off this week's video, I got a package in, it came in a little bit early, so I'm pretty excited. So this is how the video is gonna start. Um, let's just get right into this thing. All right, um, I've done a, uh, I'm like unboxing, unpacking, whatever, from these guys before. It's called Dax.co. Um, I had that Britney Spears one from them. Hang on, let me I got that Britney Spears one from them that I showed you guys. And then here, finally they made another one that I was like, I could not pass up on this one. Huge difficulties, but totally worth it. Yo, he snapped. That's just the front Bone Thugs and Harmony. Dude, that that's this shirt goes crazy. Super pumped to add this to my collection. This one will not be for sale, probably forever. I'm just gonna keep like loading up on this dude's shirts. These are they're just so sick. And like he prints them off individually, like in his own garage. So that's what I fuck with the most too. So yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the week. Let's see what we can get into in some garage sales and some thrift stores. All right, we're back. It's uh, Thursday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday actually. But I got Tyler here. I don't know if you can see him. I got my phone. Forgot the GoPro again, of course. But uh, already a decent start. Got the, uh, it's all half off too. Got the little bit of older element shirt. Auburn, Under Armour. Half off of those two so far. Only went through this little section. Let's go. Bags are secured. Wait till you see the goodies that we found. Tyler got himself a little personal too. Yay, yay. All right, um, I was gonna film it in there, but it ended up getting really busy. And I didn't, I don't know, it's so awkward when there's like a hundred grandmas staring at you, filming the clothes that you're trying to get and talking and whatever. But uh, I hope you like the, the, in, the little view of me opening the truck, but uh, yee, we got it. <laughs> we didn't even uh, really think we were gonna do this video or even go to thrift stores, but now that we got the, the juice, you know what I'm saying? Got that hit. Hit We're gonna go to the next one. See you there. Quick little break in the action. Well, quick little break from the usual content. I guess up to you how much action it really is. Uh, whatever. But got something different. Not just the haircut. Also picked up a pair of shoes for the personal. It's been a while since I've got myself a nice pair of shoes. Since you know, obviously COVID, it was like, what's the point of buying yourself shoes when you can't wear them out? So let's see what we got. I know what we got. Y'all know. You could have guessed, obviously, a Jordan 1. Yeah. yeah, the Shadow 2.0s. Had to get me a pair from personal, dude. Too fresh. Pretty much matched with everything. And yeah, back to the usual thrift shit. All right, so we're back at the house. Uh, that store didn't have, well, I had two shirts, but nothing really to pull my phone out and uh, film because I didn't have the GoPro, so I was like, fuck it anyway. But at the first one in Zion, we got a good fucking load and I'm about to show it to you right now. Let's start off here with this Mickey t-shirt. It's got the old Made in USA tag. So I forgot to take off all these thrift store tags. We literally just got back here. You know me, I like the Walking Dead promo t-shirts. This right here will throw you for a little loop if you're a Bears fan. This is a, it's like an old baseball t-shirt, but the back has fucking an old Bears quarterback, Bobby Douglas autograph. So, of course, I picked that up. <laughs> this vintage Spalding Beach Volleyball tank top. It's pretty dope. Uh, the Weekend. This is only like three bucks, so picked it up. Little Weekend shirt here. E, this is dope. I don't really see the camo too much, but a gap spell out. And then the John Hopkins Medical vintage i think it looks like a reverse weave but it's not champion but it's got that same like little style there and then you know the, the aaron hernandez jersey i know a lot of mixed feelings about this one but i have never seen one in person and in the wild so i went ahead and just like snagged it anyway for a few bucks and then you saw this earlier the auburn jersey whatever and then tyler found this when he was looking through the jackets it's pretty sick it's like a 90s early 90s uh like satin type jacket for the for a Mustang. It's pretty dope. Best find though. Bam! That Salem Sport tag. 
Oh, it gets better. There's a backside. Oh yeah, dude. And it was only yeah, you saw that. Three ninety nine. Can't beat it. All right, I for, almost forgot to put this in the video. Uh, the other day, my uncle hit me up and said he's his boss has like a bag full of '80s band T-shirts. I was like, bring them by. Let's see if we can make a deal out. And I just offered him like, a, a, like pretty much ten dollars a pop for all these shirts. And he said, yep. Yeah. So I took the gamble on it. So I'm gonna show them off here. This one's one of the cooler ones, definitely the Iggy Pop. These are they're all '80s too. One of them '70s, but this one's from '87. And then you got the BB King. World Tour 84. Actually, Tyler, I'm just gonna hand these to you, so I don't have to keep doing that. <laughs> this is the Y Yes. Yes. I don't know why I always spell it out. 1984 tour. This is a I know there's nothing on the front, but the back is cool. It's got that Flash Gordon hit right there. And then this is one of my favorites for sure, dude. The Maui Waui Island grown one ounce of brand bud. And that Haynes. No idea who this clown is, but whatever dude it's an 80s tour shirt robin or robert or whoever the fuck this is and then these two shirts whatever they're the loop these are just like local radio stations but these are a uh, single stitch older and then this one's pretty sick but the sleeves are chopped the pink floyd world tour i think this was 87 i think it is um not sure this is emerson lake and powell fucking whatever 1986 north american tour and this one's dope too, the Eric Clapton band tour shirt, the, the Behind the Sun 85 tour. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> I'm going to do some more research. The Savoy Brown. I probably didn't say that right. Kim Simmons. A little research needed on that one. This is just like a random t-shirt. This place is still actually functioning in Chicago, but it's pretty dope. And then the Great American Guitar Assault. Um, it's got... Dickie Betts, Roy Buchanan, and Lonnie Mack on the back. It's like 1985 or 86. GTR, not too sure who this is either. Gotta look them up, but this is also an 86 t-shirt. And then this one's pretty cool too. The Charlie Daniels Band from 86, I think as well. I just like that. I don't know, low-key, that Slim Jim Meat Snacks brand hit. <laughs> That's pretty dope. The, the Seagull Schwal Band. Another one I'm gonna have to do some research on. And this guy too, there's two of them. Alvin Lee, this one's dope, like the baseball tee. <clears throat> this one's the American Tour, 83. And this one's Alvin Lee, Detroit Diesel. I like the back on this one too. 1987, the Detroit Express. This is the Steve Dong Company, like when they took over, I don't know, I guess on the loop. This one's from 79, one of the only ones from 70s. Insane Coho Lips. If you're from around here, you know what that is. Uh, and then last, the Robert Cray band. I don't know, another one I gotta look up. But 1987 World Tour. How can you beat all these 80s shirts for like 200 something bucks? I mean, it's like, we'll see. It's a gamble, but we'll see how it turns out.